Okay, so my name's Walter Kadiki, and I'm a poet writer. I've done that for a long time growing up. I guess one of the things that made me start is I really felt like I had a lot of things that I needed to express and and they sort of really boiled over onto the page and, and that's what began my journey as a poet. Um, and I think most of my poetry really actually isn't written as a deaf person. So I probably don't really have a, a distinctive style in terms of writing, but definitely in terms of my hands, you know, that is the, the medium I use to get my poetry out. And it's obviously very visual. I signed two poems today. One of them is Plot Along I Must, and the other one is A Deaf Plague. And I guess uh, a lot of that is from the experiences I've had growing up every day, some of the things that I've encountered, and some of those have been quite hurtful. And, and that led me to, to really putting those pieces together. And with Plot Along I Must, I think the, the real theme is that regardless of, of what happens and how people might look at you or put you down, you know, you just, have to, you just have to keep going and move on. So the second poem, A Deaf Plague, is, is again come from my real life experiences growing up. And I think for the first time when I meet somebody, um, they don't know what to do with me as a deaf person. They, they often have a very negative view of deafness. And I guess what they fail to understand is that, you know, deaf people are... The same as hearing people, we have the same hopes and dreams and the same emotions and it's just something that has happened to me throughout my life and, and experiencing that sort of oppression and those sorts of negative attitudes, you know, I guess really inspired me to put this piece together. And I guess I do tend to write a little bit about grief and and despair, but I do have romantic works as well, and, and I do have, you know, happier works, and, and I really hope that you enjoy the poems that I've shared for you today. Visit wheelercentre.com for the best in books, writing, and ideas from Melbourne, Australia, and the world.